versus good crowd on hand here at Bruce Stadium around seven and a half thousand people I guess at the moment uh, slightly stand up, stand up. Main drop and also Hunter yeah, Mariner for plays it back to Vico again the responsibility on his shoulders today they come to the open side Wiki Ruben Wiki a bit of space out wide, they're sliding south. Brandon Pearson will get over the try line and plates the ball down. Simpkins awards the try the time, and right south have been penalised early in this game for that costly it's mistake of the timing touch. Brandon Pearson, they're going to run the league and get right the score. South Sydney goal. Ball came, came out from Dubby Half, eventually got the Pearson move from Barton's play over, but they seem to have the players there. Rabbitohs, and they were sliding pretty quickly. A good long ball from McClendon, and Caruana just can't hold on to Pearson, and he eventually loses the ball. Did that cut out pass, but still they had one on one. If Caruana makes the tackle, then Brasher can't can't help him. If they make that, the sun goes down here, it can change pretty quickly. Take the skis off now. Brett Rodwell tackled, upended, 15 out from the try line. To the open side they go through Trindle. Trindle picks up O'Neill. He has runners. And he's in motion. The Rabbitohs looking to strike back. They conceded a try after just two minutes. Garlic. This is Doyle again. Big play. Five metres out. Brought down. Now they've stacked the short side here, South Sydney. That's why they go. Trindle. Cut out ball. Brasher. To his man. Lumens gets across. The flag stays down. We will go to the video referee, but I think Sals have struck back. I've got to agree at first glance. It looked like that quick hands from Trindle went out to Brasher and Lumens in the corner. I think he may have managed to put the ball down before the, the corner flag was taken out. In fact, it may have been the Raiders player, McNamara, who did just that. Let's have another look at it. Well, well. no, he's hit, the, he's hit the post before he gets it down, in fact. It's going to be a, a, a great effort there from McNamara. No try. No try. You'll see the red light come up here for sure. There it is. The Canberra Raiders fans, they Good celebrate. The Raiders, no Broker. I wonder whether they're going to, they can throw it or maybe kick out wide the Raiders and find some space. But Dabico back to the middle. Now they'll go wide. Two tackles left. Wolford. Stuart Long pass, a possibility. There it is. McClendon standing right. Now they have Pearson. Quick hands, too easy. Kenny Nathan with and Flash. He goes across and celebrates a new three year deal with Canberra with a try after just 10 minutes. Well, the Rabbitohs, they, the ball was being played. See where it's played? There's one player outside the post, the winger, Phil Howlett. And you can see how fast Chris Caruana has to sprint to try to get into play. And eventually, well, he gets there only to be stepped inside easily by Nagus. Beautiful work, McClendon. He's, he straightened up the play so that the Rabbitohs had to stay with him, making space on the outside. That was a cover defender that was left to try to get Nagus. But... They really, really showed the Raiders some space. A good long ball out there from Stewart that cut out two or three Raiders players. McClendon does his job. Beautiful hands there from Pearson, and it's easy for Ken Nagus from there. Trindle. Dangerous virtually everywhere. Now Brasher to get involved. A oh, loose ball. McClendon dived on it, six to go. And play on the call. Garlic again, looking for a quick play the ball. Sloss. Smith. Brasher now. Brasher out of one. Loses it. Nagus has it. Again, just pushing that final pass. He did, Tim Brasher. Looked like he was going to swivel in, in over the try line there. McClendon missed him, but then he just couldn't make it, and he tries to push it out. Really nobody there. Well, at least there was a Rabbitohs player there who was heavily marked, and the ball was, was down low. Nagus was up on Ken Nagus. Across it goes. DeVico. Straight into the attack. Low this afternoon, aren't they? I tell you, with a rough high this afternoon, it was, looked a bit high to me. Wing, great wing, comes away. The stripping of the ball was one on one, I thought. Last off season, that it was Rodwell from Illawarra to South. Both sides with a second row, well, a, a centre playing in the 
back row, Rodwell for South. And Great ball from Smith. Rodwell burns. It's an enterprising play now from South Sydney. Can they convert it to points? Back for Trindle. Okay. Short side play for Lumens. Lumens is storming through. And Mullins was quickly back there to save the day for Gamba. Mullins and McNamara chasing it. Looked like Lumens may get there. He's just on side. And he's just overtaking his winger here, but Mullins comes on the scene. Has to go full stretch to get rid of it. Oh. He just manages to do... I can do some damage, both in attack and defence, Francis. Back to the short side again. Smith, little ball for Brasher. Brasher out the back for Burns. Burns swivels. In fact, six tackles again. That ball from Brasher must have been touched by a Raider. So they're just going to hit it up the middle. There's a great offload around the corner from that Francis. That was Francis. Now Trindle has players in support. They've turned it over again. In fact, it went forward. So they will get another chance, another set of six. Trindle really stretching him, sprinting out wide. McClendon gets his hand on this ball, and it goes forward before Nagus touches it. But he was just trying to slip that short ball, and it was Curtin's there for the Raiders. Then Trindle. Oh. O'Neill standing wide. As players in motion. Big wing was on the outside. They go to the left. They stack that short side again. Let himself from coming. Garlic. Trindle to the line. Carolina. Surely they must score here. And they do exactly that. Phil Howlett gets across. Simpkins gets the try. The Rabbitohs are on the scoreboard. Well, oh, the Raiders were the ones caught short that time on the short side. Trindle just sees they've got space out wide. Carolina and Howlett exact some revenge. They've had two tries scored on their wing already. But they see that there's just too much space for Nagus to cover. And great hands it was from the Rabbitohs. You just see Trindle misses out a player here because he knows that they've got numbers out wide. Just not enough support there, or not enough numbers there for the Raiders to get it back out there. Some 15 metres in that play. Oh, smashing hit. One of the best of the year. And it's Ruben Wiki, as you can imagine. Oh, it's a beauty. Ronald Francis isn't a small bloke, but have a look at Ruben Wiki. Line him up here. He came in, he ran sharp. It was the trouble. The line was wide open. He goes Trindle. And the scrum base has O'Neill. Trindle himself, as he so often does. Gee, I tell you, not too many players would have stuck with him, but Brett Mullins did. Showed some good speed, and now trying to go straight up the middle is Smith. Garlic, Trindle again. Quick hands for Caruana. Across the line, but forced back. Oh, the line, now trying to stretch them back to the left-hand side. Trindle, big long ball. O'Neill, three on three. The little kick. Wing chases through. It's too big. See, I think early in the tackle oh, that was a pretty poor option, but they've been ruled offside, the Raiders. So. Ball over the top. 63 hit ups to four. Canberra, a little knock on in the luck there by Brittis. Peters who forced the shot. Mistakes are adding up. He was going to pass the ball and Peters tackled. I wait the balls in camera. To pay for it in the end. Outside prop in. Let him in. Inside eight minutes to go in the opening half. Knocked down by Ricky Stewart. No, 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 no. Camera feed. Well, that's a Canberra feed, and Ricky's smiling and laughing. And why not, Gary? Because he got away with that. Well, he got it wrong there, didn't he? he been the only person that didn't notice. Or didn't see that Ricky Stewart had in fact knocked the ball down. From the Trindle pass. He's together. Once again, we asked what the touch judge was doing on the far side. Get around. Oh, he was marking the 10. McClendon back for the play. Trindle makes the tackle. It goes to Stewart. The long ball again for Boone. Burner for McClendon on the right-hand side. South, they've held him out for four. Two more to go. Louter. Kind of played with the club in the early days. Stewart. A longer ball for Broker. Quick hands, Pearson. Boyle with a chance. He gets it down. There wasn't too much space. But David Boyle, he found the grass.
and the try line. A touch and quarter post there, Connor. Gee, this is great here. Just have a look at this. It comes through from Crowgut. Just how quickly does he catch a pass? The ball's behind him there, Brandon Pearson. Catches, passes. Boyle just bumps Howlett out of the way. Manages to control the football. And let's see if he gets it down. Well, I think he did. But it might be a forward pass early. That's the only problem. I don't think he's asked him about the forward pass, though, Gary. He's only asked him about the corner post and getting it down. Well, he's got it down certainly before he hits the corner post, because that's all he wants to know, the green light will come on. And it does. Ambrick has first move try. Lays it. Back to Prittis. Prittis pinches another 15 metres. So the two hookers working in tandem. Work it again. Stewart has an inside runner in McClendon. She popped onto the outside of Ricky Stewart. Turn the screws before the half time break. Prudis again. Last tackle. Hitting him down the short side. A little kick for Boyle. That's good. Try number four in the bottom corner. And we will go to the check video. It, check that he's on side. Referee again. You heard it just checking if he's on side, Gary. Well, the crowd are booing, but look, I think if, if the referee's not 100% sure, yeah. do it. He don't want a controversy later on. He wants to make sure of it. Yes, he's just behind him when it's kicked. He has to run, in fact, put his foot on the line to get around his player. But he's certainly grounded that ball OK, and that is a try. And it's a tough one for South Sydney, too, just before half time. Second try for David Boyle is up. 18 points to six now. The Canberra Raiders, and certainly this game has changed around. Nine for the year now. Beautiful play. Still was screaming for the ball. He had a play on, or he wanted, or, or at least he wanted to try something or put a kick through. But Wolfman saw that he might be able to come up with something. Onto his left foot. Dribbles just into the end goal beautifully. Brasher was in the middle of the field waiting for the kick. See where Tim Brasher is, close to the post. He's just a little bit late getting there. And that is perfectly placed, that kick for David Ball. His ninth try of the season. A good one for him, nine. <laughs> Garlic pitches some five metres out of acting half and maybe then wishes he didn't because DeVico got him. Back it comes to Trindle. Inside ball for Burns again. Offloads for Doyle. Throws a dummy. Cross puck. Carolina accelerates and flings it straight back to Anthony Brand. Well, Carolina was gone over for all money. Brett Mullins in cover made a great tackle. I'm not sure if Caruana tried to pop it up or it just came out, but the ball's been stripped, two players in the Three tackle. There. Garlic doesn't realise. Taken to ground, eight metres out. Great opportunity now for South Sydney. Trindle switches back to the open side, trying to use the footwork. They have numbers. Brasher can't get around his man. Offloads to Caruana. Flat pass, final tackle. Daryl Trindle's passing has been beautiful and selective today, this afternoon. He has found his mark every time and, and pa passed to the right player. Burns now the ball back inside. Oh, great work. Rodwell reaches out and plants it down. It was Smith who juggled it back on the inside. Legally, I should add. And then South Sydney have scored. Through Brett Rodwell, what a try. Did you say Gee. legally or illegally? Legally. legally. You just have a look at the ball back inside there from O'Neill, from Burns. Smith eventually gets it, juggles it, gives it to Rodwell, in, in the tackles and just reaches out to get over the line, but it looked like that was going to be a knock-on. I guess some of the Raiders players had stopped there, that they really stretched the Raiders from one side of the field to the other. Here's the juggle. He doesn't do it on purpose, and that's why it is, it is legal. Eventually flips it inside to Rodwell, who just gets over there before Nagus can come over the top and start. Off the line, Trindle. Brasher involved. Oh, crunching tackle again. Broker. We've seen two beauties so far in this game. Now they move the ball. Rodwell again. Flicks it back. The little kick. Canberra will have to play at this. McClendon is quick, but not quick enough to get out of his own territory. I get the feeling South's pumped up. 
building. The Raiders are really going to have to wake themselves up if they're going to stop the, the Rabbitohs from getting back and leveling the score. That's a nice kick in the end there, but McClendon comes flying from out wide. He was in the centres, in fact, and tries to get back in the field of play. Can't. Parsons, take this. Again into the corner. So now they've got a very deep and very wide back line. Look for a long Brandon. ball from Trindle to O'Neill. There it is. Beautiful pass. O'Neill, a touch of run. Rush, a must score. In fact, the left wheel in Romans. They set it up and executed it to perfection. The Rabbitohs back to within two points of Canberra. 18 16. You've got to be a big try scoring magnet on that corner of the field. The Raiders scored four in the first half. And now the Rabbitohs come up with one in the same corner. That long ball from Trindle to O'Neill gives the same thing again to Brasher. Could have dummied and gone over himself. There were two players there, but neither were able to commit to a tackle. But you see it's come through Trindle. The little generals run them very well today. O'Neill takes it to the line, then throws the long ball. Brasher with plenty of space to, to work in. Decides in the end to give it to his winger. I thought he might be ill. Is it for Blake about that bottom corner? <laughs> yeah, for some unknown reason. There's plenty of tries down there. Could have led to another one down there. But look, the Canberra Raiders have to lift their enthusiasm. Not only one or two of them, but a lot of them. They're playing very flat. They've got to get down there, get some good field position, get themselves back in this game. Kick and a good chase. Pearson has it. Pearson will race away. Russia comes. They won't catch McClendon. McClendon scores. The counter-attack came. It could be a knockout blow. Size of relief all around the ground, no doubt for the coaching staff of the Raiders. A little bit of luck here, let's see this kick. Hits the ground, this is the key to us from Stewart. Brasher is way out of the play, in fact he's almost stopped. Someone else is playing back and pull back and back. He comes across to cover. Pearson would have been caught by him, but knows that he's got the, the quick of McClendon on his left. Gives it to him. Slipped the ball. Curtis. Come on. Stewart. One ball for Croker. Croker has a man with him. Great quick hands by Wecky. Now David Furner. Back to the centre of the park. Around a couple of feeble tackles. Mullins will get his first try of the season. It's taken four games. But it's a game. Now Brett Mullins scores. And that should be the ball game for Canberra. 28 16. Really had him in trouble going backwards out here, the Raiders. Once that long ball came out from Stewart to Croker, he found a, a short ball there. Wiki gives it a to Mullins. Ferner beats a few tackles. Looked like he was going to go all the way himself, but some cover defence made him pass. Great wings covering, but just can't stop Brett Mullins getting over for his first. Good ball movement from the Raiders there. Croker starts it. A nice pass in that tackle. Very good quick hands there from Wiki. Mullins through to Ferner and, as I said, beats a few tackles. Could have gone all the way himself. It looked wisely with a quicker player inside of him. Hands it on to the... Has it now. It was either stripped or the tackle was affected. It's play on is the call. Stewart, nice hands. Quick ball. Mullins on the far side. Gets across. Try number two for today. Try number two for the season for Mullins. On the left wing. And now the scoreline starts to roll out. 34, 34 points to 16. You can't be competitive for 55 or 60 minutes and then let the opposition get away from it. A good side like this, I'll put you away and some good players they have to do it. Mullins has Howlett. Well, Howlett has Mullins, I thought, but he eventually just trips him but he gets momentum gets him over the line good long ball Stewart throws another long one great hands from Boyle and Mullins with space he's hard to stop a great fend in fact that's what made Howlett's tackles up over the halfway line Nico again a good offload Curtis Stewart, a little kick for himself, chasing through, Brasher covers, or oh, will he cover? Ricky's kept it on the toe, and the Raiders look as though they've got another one. The skipper scores. The new skipper, courtesy of the skipper from earlier in the week.
keep it firm. Well, Stewart goes to the line here, the little chip over. Brasher had it covered. He really didn't put his body on the line and beat him there. He should have dived on it. Unfortunately for Stewart, he will. He kicked it. It's nice to see him actually be able to stay on his feet and score it because he's had a very good afternoon. Tried extremely hard. Does David Burner get it down? Well, that's our question here. Stewart on the toe again. Great soccer skills. Burner comes flying through and grounds it, no doubt at all. And that's why Simpkins... Possess is a good long pass, but the kicking game may be not up to it. Showing why he probably shouldn't do that too often. There was a winger waiting back for it. You've got to have a go and win its uh, score line. Clinton, inside ball, Wicky again, Wicky, barnstorming his way towards the try line. He goes back, David Atkins puts the head down, about as far as he got. Oh, spread it quickly, Clinton, to Stewart, Stewart into a big gap, another nice pass for Boyle, Boyle stepping off the right foot, puts it down. And he has deserved all three of them. 44 16. Now it starts to become an embarrassment. He scored some tries this year, David Boyle, but uh, Ricky Stewart's the man standing it up. South Sydney players, defenders everywhere around Stewart, but none committed to him. He just went sideways, had a chance to pick whoever he wanted to, pops it over the top to Boyle. He had a man outside, his, his winger was outside, but they've all overrun him, the Rabbitohs defenders, and he scrolls over. His third try, in fact, his tenth for the year. A very good year is David Boyle. Stewart going sideways, someone's got to come at him. Don't wait for him. Julian O'Neill comes a little bit too late. Pops it over to Boyle, and the cover's coming at such... 46 points to 16. Let's go sideline now with Phil Blake. Yeah, thanks, guys. Our NEC man of the match goes to Ricky Stewart. Ricky, congratulations. A good win for the Raiders. Yeah, it was patchy, Phil. I, uh, we weren't real impressed with our first half. We were fairly ordinary. We started the second half ordinary again. We're just not holding the football, mate. Making too many mistakes with the ball, and... Uh, uh, that was probably our main downfall today. Got off to a very good start in the first half, then it was seen to be all South Sydney, then the last couple of minutes you came back with back-to-back -back tries, that really helped just before the half-time. Yeah, we were, um, our defence, we weren't strong with our defence, we weren't, probably weren't aggressive enough, I mean our shoulders weren't hitting the man and uh, you know, it all starts from your defence, I think, if you defend well you attack well, but uh, you know, we got the points, we finished up with the game, we finished the game very well, which was good, but uh, a couple of lucky tries, but a couple of good uh, tries from great skill and ability. Yeah, certainly. 18-16 just after half time. It looked like that South was going to show a bit of spirit and hang in there, but you got the better off them in the end. But uh, to South's credit, they hung in there for a long time, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And, uh, mate, there's, uh, there's six or seven guys there in that South side who've got a lot of spirit and a lot of determination, and uh, that's what's probably holding them together at the moment. And the turning point, would you agree that uh, your kick downfield uh, in no man's land, you got the bounce and then came back and, and scored a try there? The game was in the balance at that stage, wasn't it? It was in the balance. It breaks your heart when you're on the... Uh, uh, defending side there when that happens and uh, actually when we come back I told the guys that we were very lucky there I said no pats on the back for anyone it's pure luck and uh, the game probably did change a touch there it does break your heart when that happens to you good luck congratulations and good luck for the remainder of the season Ricky thanks Phil and thanks to NEC I uh, appreciate it thanks okay Phil yeah, with me over uh, South Sydney coach Craig Coleman. Craig, uh, a good effort by the boys this afternoon. Uh, the scoreline, probably no indication of the game itself. No, it wasn't, Phil. Look, they, I think they scored about five tries from kicks and uh, they had luck, luck of the ball, luck of the bounce, sorry. And uh, I think at 2018, we were attacking again down that side. We made a mistake and we never recovered. But you know, for 65 minutes of the game, I thought we were the better side. First half, I, I thought you played quite well. Got off to a bad start. Uh, I don't think you kicked out on a penalty kick, and also I think you got penalised for passing off the uh, off the ground. They scored two tries, but for the remainder of the half, I thought you did quite well. All leading up to the last two minutes, where they scored back-to-back -back tries. Yeah, well, when they scored back-to-back -back tries, Blake, they had five sets in a row, and, and I think I don't know who they play. They give them 30 tackles, they're going to score on you. And uh, but I said to our guys in half time, you know, hang in there, we score next. We're, we're at hope, and we done that. We when, for the next 20 minutes, we dominated. But yeah, you know, like. When the, I think they lose hard a bit when the ball starts bouncing the other way and, and they get a, a couple of uh, free tries and the last 65 minutes, uh, for the first 65 minutes we're in the game and we clocked off the last 15. Yeah, after half time that was your best passage of play, uh, back to back tries within three or four minutes, it's a great start, exactly what you wanted. 
Yeah, it was, Blake. You know, as I said to you before the game, you know, we're not going to die wondering. We're going to use the football. We're going to use the full width of the park. And I thought they'd done it very, very well. And uh, I thought Trindle, you know, I thought it was outstanding for me today. And, um, you know, we're going to get better. We had three days to prepare this weekend. Next week is a different story. And the turning point, obviously, I thought at 18-16, that kick from Ricky Stewart, just a, an ordinary downtown, didn't go too well, but they got the luck of the bounce and end up scoring. Well, that's, a, that's a, the beauty about football, isn't it? You know, the ball bounces all different ways, and you know, bounce them today. Maybe next week, Blake, it'll bounce for us. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with our guys. Uh, they're a bit disappointed in there, but you know, I'm, sure, I'm sure they've got a bit to work with there, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll get a couple of wins before the year's out. Yeah, thanks for your time, Craig, and good luck next week. Thanks, Philip.